What up, Heart Squad? Today, we're opening up brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokemon cards. We have not only one Sword Booster Box, we have a Shield Booster Box, we have duplicates, twins, another Shield and Sword Booster Box, Hopefully I get to every single box in this opening, but if not, there will be one in the next couple days or so. But yes, 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 the highly anticipated new Pokemon card set, Sword and Shield, came out in Japan on December 6th. The English set comes out, I believe, on February 7th. But of course, I will be doing a very, very early opening of the English Sword and Shield cards. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe as well if you are ready for Sword and Shield. I got these boxes from an amazing eBay person. His name is SubFS1. I will put a link in the description below to his eBay. He does sell sealed boxes, graded Pokemon cards. Go check him out, SubFS1. Link in the description below. So thank you to him for sending me these boxes to open up for everybody. But so, we got Zacian and Zamazenta. And that brings us to the question of the day. Who is your favorite legendary? Is it Zacian holding the big old sword? Or is it Zamazenta? Let me know who is your favorite legendary in the comment section below, as well as leave a big old thumbs up if you are ready for this. So, I am going to first get into sword now each of these boxes comes with different pokemon and i'll show you the sides of the boxes because i forgot to do that frankly so i apologize for that and i'm gonna do my best to tell you the names of every single pokemon of the cards i pull including the trainers but as someone who just started playing pokemon sword and shield because frankly i'm just so busy um, and I don't watch the show or anything, so I don't really... I'll do my best to pronounce everything instead of just glossing over them. But look at that beautiness. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. There's so many new types of cards to talk about. I think that the, the, the card you want to pull from this specific box is this guy. Zacian Gold Card. Yes, that's another gold card, but it is beautiful. I promise you're going to want to see it if we pull it. And then from the shield box, there is a Marnie Full Art or Hyper Rare, excuse me, Hyper Rare, I believe it is. And Quick Ball is the secret rare trainer that you want to pull. Those cards are going for over $100 at the moment. I'm sure they'll calm down, but look at all these packs we got to get through today. These introduces the new V cards. Yes, leaves little to the imagination, but let us get right into this opening now i believe there's only five cards that come per pack so we'll get through the packs pretty fast unless we pull something very nice so i think the trick is just one from the back to the front let us go through this i'm going to go slow at the beginning giving my thoughts on the cards i would love to know your thoughts on the cards as well starting off with bead this person, in the game I have destroyed, massacred so many times so far. Just like basically the game in general. I'm having fun, don't get me wrong. Court of a Squire is actually one of my po current Pokemon on the games right now. So you good, you good. But these are the new Sword and Shield cards. You'll notice they're a little bit different than the other cards from Sun and Moon. There is a, is it uh, Yempa? Now I'm completely forgetting. I don't know. Yemper! Oh my gosh, I don't know why. This is going to be tough if I try to... Maractus! And a Roserade is the, I guess, non-holographic card. So, all right. What, like, what can't, like, what more can I say? First off, if you are new to the channel, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. I do Pokemon card openings, vintage openings, like tomorrow, I'm gonna continue my $5,000 vintage booster pack opening extravaganza. So tomorrow, Sunday, usually post videos, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays at 1 p.m. Okay, we've got a very nice Minchino. So I think, I'm, I'm completely forgetting the names of... It was like Caloctopus or something. It really, really leaves little to the imaginations of these cards. Since, you know, there he is! Hashtag Grookey Gang! It's actually a really cute looking card, so... And this is something I wanted to talk about. I was playing the game. I saw a Galarian Meowth, this guy. This is a Galarian Perserker. 
Very, very creepy card. Seriously will haunt my nightmares for times to come, but it is a holographic pull and our first one of the day. If, and it's seemingly likely, I may not get through all four boxes today. I will have so many more openings, but if y'all can, please do hit that thumbs up button to let me know that you want more Sword and Shield openings. This is an Evolution Incense, Ferrothorn, Salad. How you doing? He's back. Ball Toy, Haunter. I'll take that. Haunter and the whole Ghastly Gengar, not more so Mega Gengar, but just in general, the other. Why is this so difficult to open up? That is supposed to be the sweet spot. Oh, definitely not helping my case with the whole V card thing, but okay. So we are gonna just continue on this opening with a clay doll. Kingler Salad. Is that Disco Salad dancing again? And a Kroga, oh! Oh my gosh, and right off the bat, we get a brand new type of Pokemon card. I think that is Stone Journer VMAX. Oh my goodness. Otherwise known as, what are those stones that are like in Italy or something, Stonehenge? Is it, is it Stone Journer or Stone Jenner? But in any case, this is a brand new type of card, a triple rare card. And it's called VMAX, <laughs> little to the imagination, but a beautiful, beautiful card. Now, is there texture? There actually is a little bit of texture on the card, so that's really, really cool. I'm actually happy about that. Now, off the top of my head, I don't know all the prices of the cards, just the main cards that we're looking for. So the prices of the cards will be on screen of what they, wow, of what they currently will be. <laughs> I'll get that, I promise you. So the prices will be on screen of what they currently are. However, like I said before, the prices will be likely changing. Here is a Corviknight, Mantine, Rukidi, a, is that the Galoctopus again? <laughs> and Bead, very cool. So like I said, I think I've only, like I'm playing Pokemon Sword and Shield for the Nintendo Switch and it's just like me doing it solo because I honestly, like all I'm doing is just farming right now. Like I'm just leveling up my Pokemon. Then we got the balloon from It movie or Air Balloon. There he is. So who's all in the team Sobble? Because there he is. Ghastly, Sinchino, and a Toxicroak holographic card. It's pretty cool. You'll notice the pattern of the hollows is different than the pattern from sun and moon. All right, so it's just reaching up more towards the top of the booster pack. Let's continue. This is a <sighs> Lucky Charm, I think is what it's called. Krabby, Phariseed, Salad, and a new type of Pokemon for generation eight. I believe that's called a Poultry Guy. A Poultry, a Poultry Guys. Gosh, that leaves little room for talking. So, yeah, Poltygeist is, I think that's a non-holographic rare. So that's like overall my thoughts on the new Pokemon for generation eight. Like I really don't know what to think yet. Like some of the Pokemon I really like, like Corviknight, Rookity, Corvusquire. And then of course we got older Pokemon like Sudowoodoo, but for the generation eight and Corvusquire, what do you know? I, I'm like, I'm a little, whoa, happy now with that Gengar Hollow. I'm not too impressed with the Pokemon from Generation 8 that I've seen so far. And I've seen a lot, but there's still a lot that I need to see. And I would love to know y'all's thoughts on what you think of the new Generation 8 Pokemon. Are you finding them not original? But then again, there's thousands, like, it's tough to come out with originality, but I don't know, I would be interested to hear your thoughts. Here is a new one. Is that like a, I'm sorry guys, I can't remember everyone, but there's a really creepy Meowth. Galarian and Meowth. There's a Nicket and a Cramorant, I think. VMAX card. So introducing, excuse me, it's just the V card. A V, Ultra Rare, Ultra Rare V. There we go. This is the newest type of card that will be coming out December, I mean, uh, February 7th in English. But uh, there we go. So this is an Ultra Rare version of it. I don't think any of the just regular ultra rare cards are worth too much. 
that being said, uh, it goes to show how they're going to be in English. But let's see as we continue. And once again, I there's the other one, which I don't know why I remember the other one, but not this one. It's like something T, but it's scary at the same time. I think that may be a lumberry. But you can correct me if I'm wrong. But like I said, uh, I would uh, thank y'all so much for your... I'm trying to say the names of the Pokemon and especially the trainer cards as well. And from someone who's never even heard them before, it's just me going off of what I've read on text. So I've tried to prepare as much as I can, but I appreciate y'all understanding. Uh, Krogunk, it is Zacian V! Ultra Rare card! There we go. So we want this. We want this in gold form. I think that card's going for around 80 US dollars from Pokemon Sword boxes. So I don't think the, the V, ultra rare card is worth too much but i'm just loving it because this is the first time i'm seeing these cards and i really hope y'all are enjoying this so a thievel who was actually part of my starting starting six pokemon until i found a pikachu and switched it out for him i'm just i'm such a gen oneer i have to admit that crabby and another i think it's some sort of lucky charm which now I kind of want to go eat the cereal. But uh, remember guys, please do consider hit that thumbs up button if you are excited for this. Starting off with a Lumberry, Rookity, Galarian Stunfisk. I do want to mention, I was going through the Galar Mine, number two, number two, and I kept on running into Pokeballs that were really just this guy. He was giving out so much EXP, I went through the Galar Mine a thousand times, getting like 500 XP just from this guy. But anyway, now I'm getting completely distracted. <gasps> AB! Four Trainer Supporter Card! Okay, okay, okay. I think this is a really, really good one that you do want to pull. And we just did. I'm so happy about that. Oh boy. Okay. I don't know why I'm not putting him in sleeves. I should be putting at least the bigger holes in sleeves. And just like this Ston, I think it's a Ston Journer, if I'm remembering correctly when I was reading. So, all right, all right. Oh my gosh, we have so many packs to go. Oh, my camera only goes up to 29 minutes before it overheats or it's auto shut off to be safe. So I'll try to go a bit faster, but we got stuff like this Rotom bike. Beautiful, Disco Salad. Nicket, Galarian Meowth, and a Claydol. Non-Holograph. I don't think those are necessarily rares for the non -holograph. They're just not rares in that spot. All right. So far, I'm very, very happy. Um, this is Pinekerchin, I believe. Sudowoodoo, and... Wow. It sounds like there's like people outside right now, but anyway. A Rillaboom, Rillaboom, and of course, if I'm, I, I, I should be saying that correctly, but Rillaboom and currently just evolved my Thwacky. Yeah, little to the imagination. Um, not helping yourselves, Pokemon. Uh, just evolved into a Rillaboom. I love the whole Grookey line. Granted, when you look at Thwacky, he doesn't have a neck. So I kept on staring at that for some reason and the fact that he doesn't have a neck. But for the most part, I love that line way better than Sobble line and Drizzle and Antillion. <laughs> Don't at me, bros. There's the It Balloon. That is for no, for now known as the It Balloon, not Air Balloon. I think there is and there should be a gold secret rare Air bal It Balloon, excuse me, card in Shield. It's only worth like $20 to $30, so it's not too crazy. But... A Lapras V. The artwork for these cards are phenomenal. I'm real, okay, I was honestly worried that a lot of the V Ultra Rare cards were gonna just be CGI graphics. But these are actual illustrations, I believe, and they look amazing. Pulsy guys person thing. Uh, Ferrothorn, Ghastly, and Evolution Essence. Incense. Not essence, but whatever floats your boat. All right, so we still got several packs to go. Still waiting on, we've gotten some very, very nice cards. Some of my favorites that I wanted to pull from this box. We still have a whole nother box. Holographic Toxicroak and 
Lots of like, lots of openings to go. Yes, yesterday, and it will be in the eye, I opened up uh, some incredibly rare vintage Pokemon booster packs from like Neo Destiny, uh, Team Rocket, Fossil, the Wacky. See, he has no neck. What's going on with that? And well, that's it. All right. And if you want to go watch that, it will be like in the eye, as I said. It continues. The vintage openings continue tomorrow and Sunday and likely next week. Several videos will be vintage videos. So definitely, guys, hit that notification bell as well. I definitely want to harp on that. If, you know, everybody's busy and you just forget when sometimes people post, even though I post usually every day at 1 p.m., hit that notification bell. A lot of y'all apparently have already. And that is awesome. Oh, and Tilion. There we go. Not the biggest fan, but it's a hollow. And um, so just a public PSA announcement to please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell and all notifications once you hit that. Yep, YouTube makes it hard <laughs> just to get notifications. Bead, I can't believe we have pulled. Like, I'm gonna show you the pulls real quick. Stan Jurner v Max, Bead is here. And then we got some hollow, some gorgeous cards. Okay, these cards I'm loving a lot. I'm actually loving the pulls we have made so far. So very, very happy about that. All right, let's continue on as we get to more repeats now for the commons and uncommons. I'll go a bit faster, but now we have the ultra rare Stan Jurner. I really hope I'm saying his name correctly or even right right now. It's just, I was trying to make sure I was gonna pronounce all the names correctly before this video and I was just doing so much homework. And then of course, you know, like when you're taking a test or something, you get to it and you're just like completely blank out. There is Fishing Rod, not Lana's, Salad, and I think that's a Scorch. Maybe that is, I think it's a Scorch. So yay, A plus Leon for, Getting that one. We have about five or six more Pokemon Sword packs to open up. Corviknight. I think Corviknight's a cool line, but I'm more of a Pidgey fan just because. And Professor Magnolia, which is actually called Professor's Research, but there we go. I haven't seen too much of Professor Magnolia in the game other than at the beginning. Granted, I'm still probably really far early in the game. Like I already got my Rillaboom all the way up to like 40, like almost like 50, it's crazy. Um, Lumberry, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting what that one is. Ball Toy and Cinchino or Minchino. All right, let us continue new Pokemon Sword and Shield cards. I love the Thwacky card. Kingler and a Delmis. The ultra rare card. Not the biggest fan of the anchor, but still, I'll take it. I'll absolutely take it. I think the pulls have been phenomenal so far. We have three packs remaining from this Pokemon Sword box. Then I'm gonna get into the next box. And I'm now thinking, I don't wanna rush it because this is really so cool. Like I'm going through it pretty fast, but at the same time, this is my first time seeing these cards, so I really don't want to rush it too much. So I, I will be opening up that Pokemon Sword box. If it somehow goes longer than what my camera would allow, I'll just have to stop and then y'all will notice nothing. It'll just go straight into an extended opening, but it just takes a little bit more work uh, editing as I edit all of my videos myself. So last pack, can we get some last pack magic overall? Very, very ecstatic about the pulls, but let's see. Hyper Potion, I think it's the first time pulling that. Grookey, Ghastly, and a, I think it's like a Bloaton or something, maybe? But in any case, it's a holographic last pack magic. Now we are getting into Shield. This box has the quick ball secret rare that you wanna pull. It has Marnie. Full Art Trainer or Hyper Rare, whichever it is. Those are the ones I was told are the cards that you want. I completely just mangled the box. You saw the sides of the box. Let's get into the actual box. All right, here we go. Pokemon Sword, question of the day. Who is your favorite legendary? Is it Zamazenta? Right over here. 
or is it Zacian? Definitely let me know, comment section below. Now this set does have extra or other Pokemon that Sword didn't have, and Sword has Pokemon that Shield doesn't have. Te like this one, Team Yell Grunt. Not the biggest fan of them, because honestly, Marnie's been very, very nice. You know, I'm a fan of, I think it's Glossifleur and Ed Eldegoss. Edegoss or something. Scorbunny. I say I'm a fan and I can't even pronounce his name. And a Masharna. All right. Continuing on. Couldn't, I don't have any of, like, most of these Pokemon I don't even have on my team. I'm seriously, like, my whole team is just Gen 1 Pokemon. Drapion, a uh, Dottler, Quillfish, a, I want to get this right, I think that is a, some type of Cobra, Sand Cobra? I don't know, but we got a first holographic hole. Thank you, Score Bunny. All right, so, Score Bunny and the whole Score Bunny line, like Raboot. An ace over here. I just, I'm not a fan. That's why I love Grookey. Hashtag Grookey Gang. All right, let's continue. Ooh, double. There's Choodle. He's kind of like a poor man's Squirtle. <laughs> and he's pissed because of that too. Galarian, my little Ponyta. I think there's a Galarian Rapidash as well. So there is a Quick Ball, just a regular card. So nothing too crazy there. That is the one we want to pull in secret rare form. Hopefully we can do that, because that will be $100. And there's the other one. Sant, and maybe this is Santa Cobra. Or Santa Conda. Blipbug, Skaroopy, Golding, and a Frostmoth. Holographic. All right. That was pretty cool. No, no, I think, like, I think like, the, like the first stage of that one is like Snom or something weird, but Noctowl. Whenever I see a Noctowl, it always brings me back to Neo Destiny. There's the Gossiflor, Mawile, Rhyhorn, and Lucky Candy. Rare Candy. Well, I guess technically if you do get Rare Candy, you are pretty lucky, but Rare Candy, the non-holographic trainer, continuing on. I don't, I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna call you Snake. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. Is that a Bruce Lee? I mean, Hitmon Bruce Lee in the back? Hitmon, Jackie Chan, they're like in the clouds right now. Blipbug, Scorbunny, and Snorlax V. Beautiful looking illustration for that one. So our first V pull of the day. Let us continue. Pokemon Shield Booster Box. Oh, ooh, very nice Aurora energy. Bug, there's Snom, Wooloo. <gasps> we got both of the legendaries! Zamazenta V. Now we got both. Really, really happy about that one. I don't think it's like too rare or anything. It just looks really cool. Both of the boxes are gorgeous looking. There's Lucky Egg. At least I believe that is. Hitmonchan. Mana, Goldeen, and Raboot. There we go, so non-holo for that one. And let's continue the opening with another one. So Wooloo, Bisharp, Gossifleur, and Team Yell Grunt. This would be, as far as like cards that are worth the most, I believe Pokemon Shield is the box, are the boxes that you want to open up. Aurora Energy, whoa! That's so cool! Hopefully I can find, there, there we go. Just so y'all can see both of these. That's neat. Hitmon Bruce Lee and Jackie Hitmon Chan. There's a new type of Pokemon. I think it's called a Kufant. And another Galarian Zigzagoon. And there's the uh, evolution. It's like a, a Kappa Halaja or something. I don't know. God, I've, I've, been, I've like ran into that Pokemon one time in the game and it was somebody like a repair person in the second gym city. So, Orbeetle, Bisharp, Hitmonlee, Quillfish, and Marnie! I actually think this is a really good pull. Wow, in the hotel too, because that's just where she stands all the time is in the hotel lobby. All right. We, uh, we're making decent time. I may have to just, uh, it'll go flawlessly for y'all, but 
may have to because I, don't, I still don't want to rush it because we still have some incredible pools that we are going to be making. I just know it. Metal Saucer. And let us continue. If anything, if I restart it, maybe I'll try to get into another box. But And that's a uh, citrus fruit. Uh, Dotler, Dub Wool, Chincho. Whoa! Sableye V. Gosh. Okay. I have to say the black outline of the V cards are beautiful. Really, really enjoying them a lot. Quick Ball, Gossip Floor, Wooloo, Score Bunny, and I think that's a Galarian Linoon? Yeah, there we go. But uh, let's get into the next pack. And I am ready to see if we can get a gold card, hyper rare card, starting off with a Vitality Band, Seeking, Pontiard, uh, Scroopy, and another Linoon. I'm gonna just not even say Galarian, but uh, just say their name, what, of what I think is how you pronounce it. But y'all feel free to let me know if I'm not pronouncing it right. Like at this point, I don't even know how we know, how we pronounce it. Right on, right horn, blip bug, hootie and the blowfish, and another frost moth. Holographic. All right, I'm still waiting on. Like, I really do hope we pull a hyper rare. Like, really, 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 really hope. Just so, you, so, just so we can see what it looks like. I've seen pictures, but I have not seen them myself. Choodle and a Rhyperior Holographic. All right, continuing on. And I did turn off my camera and turn it off again. So I think I'm gonna try to get into at least another box for y'all, just so we can continue the party. Just continue the sword and shield party. Go get some energy drink, coffee, water on the rocks, whatever you want. Dredna, pretty cool. I like Dredna, Dredna's cool. Um, not so much Choodle, Aranguru, holographic. All right, I think we have met our holographic quota of the day. Now it's time to continue the ultra rare pulls. Lucky Egg, Bisharp, or Pontiard, excuse me, Dollar, and Indeedy V. Indeedly, I'm supposed to be the guy from The Simpsons, but Mr. Flanders. All right, so interesting looking Pokemon. Nothing too crazy there. Continuing on, and I'm probably gonna get into the Pokemon Shield box next, so I'm gonna put that up in the background because it looks all very nice and pretty. So, Pokemon Shield, ooh, I don't know if I did the card trick right, so just bear with me. Um, we're gonna open up that box after this and just make this a very, very long and awesome opening. Because we gotta go big, guys, we gotta go big. And uh, if you can't hit that thumbs up button, if you were enjoying the new Pokemon Sword and Shield card, I, I kinda like that card. I don't know if we pulled the Galarian Rapidash yet, but Ed Eldegoss, I think that's how you pronounce it. <gasps> AV Max Manipeko! I think that was his name. There we go, so this is like, I guess the full art, maybe? It would be? That's beautiful. It's like a little rat thing. But I'll take it. That was a beautiful looking card. So, our first pull of the day that I am loving a lot, from the shield box at least. I think it's a Manipeko. So, let's continue on. So now it's starting to heat up. I don't know the pull rates. We're gonna just experiment and find out for ourselves what they are. Kufant, Mana, and a Noctowl. We have this many packs to go. I'm ready to get into that next shield box. But I mean, we still have we still have more lantern. We still have more cards to get through in this one, and we still could get another Mana Peko. That's the regular V one. All right. Notice how I am changing how I'm pronouncing that to not be awkward. All right, so technically I probably am 24-7 anyway. So Masharna, Hitmon, Bruce Lee, Dottler, Zigzagoon, and a Rhydon. Non-holograph. Well, I don't technically need to say non-holo because they're not always rares, but just I'm so used to it opening up the English packs. Snake. Um, Snake. Team Yellow Grunt. <laughs> 
All right, I'm having way too much fun with this. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying this opening. Massive vintage opening continues tomorrow. There is a, wow. It's like the side of like a toy aisle or something. Galarian Rapidash, Quillfish, Dubwool, Hitmonchan, and an Obstagoon. I think that's what it's called, an Obstagoon. So, Holographic has been pulled. We have three packs remaining. And then we are going to get into another complete shield box because I want to continue this opening. Dredna, two packs remaining. And here we go. Ooh, I see something shiny at the end. Hootie and the Blowfish. Mona. <gasps> Team Yell Grunt. I think that's what it's called. Full Art Trainer Supporter Card. All right, not like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but this is a cool looking card. I think the whole trainer supporter cards with characters on them are beautiful looking cards and you just gotta love the artwork of them, no matter how much they cost. All right, Raboot, Eldegas, Lantern, Wulu, and a Metal Saucer. So that was that box. Now, I do have this entire sword box, which I'll put in the back just because I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it today unless we just trek through this next box, which we may. Did I just rhyme again? I really got to stop doing that, like accidental rhymes, but... All right, so I'm going to take the packs out and... Whoop, let us begin with... Whoa, some more shield packs. These are, they're all the same artwork, but they are like, man, oh man, are they beautiful, the artworks for it, so... Here it is, let me make sure it's in focus for everybody. I apologize if it was not. It should have been, but you never know. So, I'm gonna go through this pack. I'll show you the pulls from the previous box real quick because I completely forgot. Wulu, Hitmonchan, and Aurora Energy. So, here are the pulls from the previous box, not boxes. There's the VMAX card we got in DD, some holographics, Sableye. We got a very nice Marnie holographic. Zamazenta presents itself, and some more holographics. All right. Let's get into this next box. Simple reminder, guys, please do hit that thumbs up button and consider hitting that notification bell as well because look at that rapid dash. Dub will him on Chan Ponyta and another Marnie holographic card. I do like the pattern of the hollows so far. At least these are Japanese patterns. I don't know how it'll be in English, but all the illustrations will be the same. That much said, except the borders will be different. Edgoss, Golding, Rhyhorn, Vitality, Ban. Man, you can really trek through these boxes like really fast. And it's just like the pull rates are very, very difficult, especially if you want to get a master set, like collecting all the cards, it's going to be very difficult. Another, so our first repeat, Zamazenta V. Not too shabby of a card, so I will take it absolutely, absolutely, I'm trying to talk like Flanders here. Metal Saucer, Hootie and the Blowfish, Mana, and a Noctowl. And I'm trying to speed it up as well, at least until we hit something very nice. All right. Let's see what we can do in this next pack. And another! All right, hip hip hurrah. Well, I guess Pekko is really cute. That's Marnie's Pokemon. That's always following her around. Not too strong or anything, because I usually just one hit it and it's done. Uh, Drapion, but uh, it's cute. All right, continuing on. I got a massive mess over here. Let's see, Choodle, Ponyta, Chan, and a full art. So this is a full art, because there's texture on the card. Full art V in DD. That, that just reminds me of like a Five Nights at uh, Freddy's animatronic or something, just staring you in the face. It's honestly really creepy. Whoa, I really hope there was not a gold card in that one. Uh, Team Yell, Scorbunny, Wooloo, and some snakes like the original game for the Nokia phone that I used to play 4,000 years ago. All right, let's continue. I am waiting for just an incredible pull to blow us all away. That is not gonna do it, because we have pulled it before, but it's still nice. We got a hit, Holographic Rhyperior. And continuing on, I think that was a Zigzagoon. No, that's a Zigzagoon, that was a Linoon again. I apologize for that. Seeking and an Aurora Energy. 
All right. Next up, this pack. Let us go. Vitality ban. Rhyhorn and another one of those Kapahala Jabas or whatever it's called. It's an elephant Pokemon. Like, what is that? S uh, some type of fruit or berry, excuse me, snake and a Rhydon. All right. Continuing on, it's getting awfully messy over here. Ooh, I saw something, I apologize for that. I'll be very more careful now, just going a little bit faster. <gasps> Sable Ivy! Didn't we pull that, or was that the Sable IV Max? Uh, I don't think it was. I think it was, I think we pulled that one before, so. All right, so that's why those are just like ultra rares, nothing too crazy. I think they're beautiful, and I'd love to hear y'all's opinion on it. Dredna, Gossifleur, Zigzagoon, and an Obstagoon Holographic. All right, let's see how we can do in this one. And guys, like I said, uh, definitely let me know your favorite legendary, Zalcian or Zamazenta, as well as leave a like on this video. It will just show me that you would like me to do more of these sword and shield openings. And if so, I will do it. I'll listen to y'all. So just let me know. Gotta show the support and I appreciate the support. So we got an egg, lucky one, and another Obstagoon holographic alrighty then how about now let's go with a metal frying saucer pan thing ponyta orbital not a fan of the whole blip bug line and dotler and orbitals i mean i know it's like a ladybug but we kind of already have that pokemon from before zigzagoon seeking dotler and another holographic pull so we're just gonna put that over here we pulled him many times he's fine he's fine he's good he's good all right we are trekking through this sealed box and uh don't forget guys uh check out the ebay sub ss1 sub fs1 channel if you would like to go get your own boxes and other types of cards there will be a link in the description below here we go quick ball if we can just get a quick ball that would make my day another one <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love this card. Really, really cool. But there was so many more that we could have pulled. And uh, so there we go. Minipeco VMAX. And let's continue. I hope that was not it. Like, I hope we can still pull a Hyper Rare. But uh, I guess we'll find out within the next like five minutes or so. And uh, da -da 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 -da. Candy, Kufant, Mana, Snom, and an Oranguru. Holographic. Now the cards are starting to bleed over because I ran out of room in my divider where I throw the trash and throw my cards. Hooting the Blowfish, Lantern. But uh, overall, um, as I'm sure y'all probably have already done, I would love to know your thoughts so far on the new Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokemon cards. It would be very cool to get y'all's opinion. Like, what do you think of the new V Ultra Rare cards? And. The VMAX cards, all that stuff, let me know in the comment section below. And a very nice ace holographic. All right. I think we have four packs remaining. Four packs remaining. Choodle and a lantern. I don't know why. I'm completely forgetting, like, Eldegoss. I think it's Eldegoss is that Pokemon in Goss of Floor, but for some, it's like, I like that Pokemon, but I guess not enough to like. <gasps> Snorlax V! So we have another Snorlax V. So two packs remaining, and we shall continue with a Candy, Golden, Goss of Floor, and another Snake. Down to the last pack. Heart Squad, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please do consider hitting that thumbs up button, subscribe button, and notification bell if you are ready for more vintage openings tomorrow, Sunday, and more Sword and Shield openings. All right, last pack magic time. And Torkoal! He's got the good stuff. All right, everybody, thank y'all so much for watching. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.